So today I want to actually do a, a compare and contrast between uh, Elementor, Beaver Builder, and Divi. What's the best WordPress page building tool out there? Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to do uh, Elementor versus Beaver Builder versus Divi, and I want to really compare those three. The thing here is that and um, when it comes to uh, building a website or designing a website, a lot of uh, non-techies out there will want to learn about the tools that would allow them to design a website with no coding background, right? You don't have to know anything about coding. You can just um, drag and drop and really have a website quickly and, uh, you know, SEO ready as soon as possible. So we've done the math for you. Today, we are going to compare those three page builders through a series of criteria, including user interface, functionality, styling options, customization options, templates available, mobile support, pricing, modules, and much more. Now, while only three, these three page builders are the most popular in the market with well-updated code-based and documentation, right now at least. So it's very important to sort of a review, go in and out and see what they are really offering. So first, let me give you a little bit of background about the, the three companies. So Elementor actually was uh, the, the tool was launched in uh, 2016 and it has quickly shot up the charts and is now active on over 5 million websites while maintaining an impressive 96% or more than 6,000 reviews at WordPress.org. That's pretty impressive. And uh, obviously, Elementor is a drag and drop page builder plugin. So you have the visual part and you have the drag and, uh, the drag and drop. So visual means what? means that when you design your content, you see exactly what your visitors will see. There's never any confusion about how your page will look once you publish it, all right? And this is what the experts are calling the industry the wheezy week. What you see is what is what you see is what you get, all right? So drag and drop means that you can move around various design elements like buttons, forms, or images just by dragging and dropping them. No code required whatsoever. So this sort of a wheezy wig uh, approach is also present in beaver builder you have the drag and drop page build you have you have uh, another drag and drop page builder plugin and uh, beaver B builder makes it very easy to create customized wordpress content same thing here with the uh, divi builder so divi builder is also uh, actually was uh, it's a flagship theme by elegant themes so divi is uh, produced by elegant themes and they've been uh, doing great. They've been uh, a runaway success uh, since the, the, the launch of this plugin. And this is fantastic. So now let me quickly look at the first criterion here, the user interface. So all the three page builders that we are reviewing in this post, they come with front end editing capabilities. So let's look at the interface of Elementor. So when you create any WordPress post or page, the edit with Elementor button will appear below the title. Fantastic. So if you want to shift to the Elementor's, Elementor's uh, front end uh, editor, you need to click on that button and wait for the visual editor to load. And um, in the, as you can see on the screen right now, so in the Elementor window, you if you click on the plus button, it will ask you to select the layout of the section. So the folder icon lets you import among hundreds of Elementor templates and also lets you access the save template. That's really cool. And one thing, and uh, for the, on the Beaver Builder interface, you, you need to click the, um, the, Beaver the Beaver Builder button to open the Builder screen. So it will open to the Visual Editor screen. And here, the cool thing here is that you have a modules panel that will, at the left side of the screen, and you can drag and drop any element you want to the canvas. And this is, it really depends upon the project you're working on. And all those tools, Beaver Builder, 
Elementor, they are, I would say, intuitive. For example, in uh, Beaver Builder, if you wish to put the modules panel to the right side of the screen, you can drag the module to the right side. This is something that is not possible with Elementor unless you use a separate plugin for this functionality. And also there is the hide button on the bottom right corner of the modules panel that lets you hide the modules panel. What about, um, what about Divi, the interface of Divi Builder? In Divi, the cool thing here is that you have the ability to choose between the old backend page builder and also the front end page builder. But what we've seen in our research is that most of the time you'll be using the visual builder as it is more, more intuitive and lets you design pages in the WYSIWYG fashion. On the contrast, the backend editing is the old way to design the pages. So you, like you back in the day, you needed to design the pages on the back end and refresh the page on the front end even for minor modifications to the back end modules, right? And the thing is, this was really, really, I would say, um, time consuming back in the days. And uh, as most of the people will be using the visual builder, we'll be going through the front end builders functionalities a, a little later. All right. So the winner here when it comes to um, user interface is Elementor. It's more intuitive. It's rich. It is uh, user friendly. So we we believe uh, it really uh, is the top is the winner here. Criteria number two, we have modules. Now, each of these three page builders come with dozens of uh, modules built in and also support for various add ons that add much more modules to the page builder. So let's look at so you have the modules of Elementor. So Elementor really is a freemium, freemium plugin. So the free version of Elementor comes with a limited number of modules. But for a normal user, the free elements that Elementor comes with are more than enough, really. Unless you have a big project you're working on, you don't really need the, the, the paid version of it. So, But if you want more modules, you can go to the pro version of Elementor, which comes with the uh, above extra modules. Well, I'm showing you the, the modules. Uh, we probably saw the modules on the screen. And um, but if you go with a pro, you have extra modules along with the, along with features like global widget, pro templates, custom CSS for modules, header and uh, footer builder, etc. There are also various add-ons uh, for that adds much more, many more modules to it, the Elementor plugin. All right. What about the modules of Beaver Builder? Like that of Elementor, the Beaver Builder also comes with both free and the paid versions. And the free versions of the of the Beaver Builder can be directly downloaded from the WordPress repository. So the free version of the Page Builder comes with only five modules. So you have the audio, the HTML, the text editor, the photo, and the video. Whereas the Pro version of the Beaver Builder unlocks a whole new set of modules, as uh, you can see right now on the screenshot we're showing you on the on, we're showing you right now. So uh, Beaver Builder also got. They, they actually the, the plugin has lots of add-ons if you want to add more elements and functionalities to the page builder like uh, you have for, for instance you have ultimate beaver what about uh, the modules of Divi builder so Divi builder is really a premium only plugin for WordPress so it comes with up to 40 to 50 elements to play with there are also various add-ons for Divi builder so the popular one of them the most popular is the ultimate add-ons and uh, it comes with various premium DV child themes, layouts, and much more. And also, the cool thing here is that there are other add-ons like DV Booster that we love, DV Life, and DV Kick. And all of the three page builders allow third-party developers to create modules and support them seamlessly. So the winner here, in our view, is Elementor because they have many, 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 many modules that come built in. Moving on to the features. So in terms of features, you have uh, you are going to be placed here. Let's first look at first uh, the Elementor. So features Elementor. So we're here. We're currently on the Elementor uh, website. You can see the, the features here. You have essentials. So you have the drag and drop editor. You have uh, three more than 300 designer mid templates. You have more than 90 widgets. You have responsive editing. You can see on the screen here, and this is taken directly from uh, the Elementor website. You have pop-up builder. This is pretty good. This is only available in the pro version. Theme builder, same thing. You have the WooCommerce builder, which is also available only for the uh, in the pro version. The workflow. In terms of workflow, the features that you need very essential when it comes to WYSIWYG experience. You have no coding, navigator, the full site editor, the finder, the hotkeys, the shortcut cheat sheet. 
the redo undo auto save revision history you have draft mode copy paste copy style inline editing global widget this is pretty good the global widget is pretty good because it allows you to really really uh, have a, a globally oriented web web page the dark mode and the site setting in terms of the the, the, the design you have global fonts global colors global custom CSS background gradients background videos background overlay you have enhanced background images background slideshows slideshow elementor canvas blend mode CSS filters shape dividers and so on and so forth you, and I'm, I'm actually just dragging now you can see that you have uh, you have gazillions of uh, of um, features from forms to e-commerce to theme content to uh, theme builder all right now let's move on to the to beaver builder and we are currently on beaver builders website also and i'm showing you a little bit of uh, just a snapshot of all the the features that they have and features that are pretty cool that assist developers that help designers so you have everything that you have features that allow you to customize your layouts in beaver builder so you have uh, features that allow you to customize the plugin for your clients use you have features in beaver themer that save development work so you have uh, so you have responsive design features so you have a uh, responsive style settings breakpoints stacking spacing and visibility that's pretty cool and in terms of short code support you have uh, you have many many um, many robust support items for short codes and the cool thing here is that you can see on the screen that we're showing you right now an example of a B of a beaver builder photo modules inserted into a pricing mo pricing module you can see here on the left you can see this is fantastic and you have custom JavaScript you also have we, we just uh, going through this and you have features to customize the plugin so you have custom features you have custom actions and filters you have user access control and so on and so forth and moving on now to the third DV you can see that we are currently on DV's website also you can see the DV has uh, gazillions of features and uh, that allow you to build visually you have effects you can add effects shape dividers bulk editing you have layout library you have transforms hover states and final replace and uh, here you, you have also a drag and drop building true visual editing custom CSS control responsive editing design options galore inline text editing save and manage your options save and manage your designs you have global elements in style undo redo and revision so really here you have uh, on the website so those are the features here but here in terms of feature we believe the winner is element uh, um, Elementor because again it has that diversity that breadth and depth of features that we are looking for now let's talk about customization now each of these builders offers a great level of module customization and that's what you want really if you if you are trying to have a a mobile responsive a modern website you want to make sure you have module custom customization because your imagination is your limitation when it comes to creating amazing pages using these three plugins so for uh, let's do uh, customization and styling in, in uh, Elementor in Elementor when you click on any element there are three tabs available in the sidebar so using the content tab you can customize the aspect like type of the element alignment text size icon content and uh, the style section enables you to customize the style of the button like color hover color border margin padding and typography and the advanced section enables you to customize the animation css background responsiveness and also add custom css to that specific module and the cool thing here is that you have lots of layout options also for editing the page sections here you can alter things like the content width structure columns gap etc Along, along with this you can right click on any element on the page to access the options to duplicate the elements save the modules as templates etc what about customization and styling in beaver builder now this is kind of similar to what you have in uh, in uh, elementor too so there are three types of customization so, so they are general style and advanced so the general tab gives you options to edit the text add icons insert hyperlinks etc 
the the style of um, advanced tabs allows you to alter the colors styles structure spacing responsiveness visibility animation and so on it also got options to add different styles like solid gradient transparency to some of the elements like buttons what about customization and styling in Divi Builder? So the thing, the cool thing here we love about Divi Builder is that when you you can add the modules using the floating panel, the floating panel, all right? So after adding the module to the canvas, you can click on the gear icon above the module to customize the content and design of the module. In the content section, you can edit the text, link, and also the background color of, of uh, any module. In the design section, you can modify things like colors, alignments overlay and the uh, the customization options offered by Divi Builder are very powerful and allow you to modify each and every part of the page and in the advanced section you have the options to add the custom CSS to the module that you have selected so the winner here in our view is Elementor let's talk about pre-made templates one thing you want to have when it comes to um, WordPress plugin is to have Pre-made templates. You want to have a variety. You want to have a, um, a richness of, of templates. Although you can build the pages from scratch using this page builders, why take the pain really? So Elementor has more than 100 templates. Divi Builder more than 40 templates. Divi Builder more than 140 templates. So Elementor templates are pretty cool. It, you have some richness here. You you can actually choose from a wide variety of templates, and the category of temp, categories of templates actually range from home pages, about pages, portfolio, landing pages, product pages, contact, about, coming soon pages, so on and so forth. And you also get pre-designed block templates with Elementor to help you build the section of the pages on the fly. And uh, there are also various Elementor templates available on the web, really. And additionally, you can right click on any of the elements or the section of the page and save them as template global widget to reuse whenever you are you want to use it. What about the Beaver Builder templates? Cool thing here also is that you have dozens of templates for you to choose from. And the templates here are categorized into landing pages and content pages. So if you have designed or modified any landing page, you can save it as a template for reusing later. That's pretty fantastic. Think about it. If you design a, a template, a, a page that you like, you can reuse it. And there are also various third party templates available for Divi Builder. And Divi Builder is also cool. Actually, um, Divi Builder is the queen or the king, if you will, of templates. It comes with various templates and are neatly, beautifully categorized. It comes with more templates than uh, that of uh, Beaver Builder. And um, what we love is that you can also save the landing pages that you've designed and, as saved layouts, which are available for use later on. And so the, the, uh, there are gazillions of DV layouts available on the internet. So for this section, when it comes to the, uh, the pre-made templates, pre-built templates, DV Builder is the clear winner. Let's move on to mobile responsiveness. The cool thing here is that all these three page builders are modern. So they they are they have the, the latest mobile dot tablets customization abilities. So this feature, as you can imagine, is very essential in the mobile first index age, right? So with all these page builders, you can view your landing pages like in, in desktop, mobile, or tablet and customize the elements accordingly. And you can toggle uh, some elements to be only shown hidden in desktop, mobile, tablet devices. And um, so when it comes to, it would be really a tie among all those page builders when it comes to mobile customization and responsiveness. But in our view, according to our extensive research, Ele Elementor has got some small edge when mobile customization is concerned. So the winner here is Elementor, but you know, just by a slight edge. What about unique features? Now let's look at some of the most unique features that that really differentiate those three players. What about what are the unique features of Elementor? You can you have embed anywhere. You can embed the Elementor designs anywhere on the site sidebars, footers, headers with the usage of short codes or through widgets. You also ha and this feature is only available on uh, Elementor Pro. You have ship dividers. So with these features, you can create looking uh, SVG designs to your page without any coding using uh, Elementor interface. So there are various ship divider effects like mountains, 
drops, clouds, zigzags, etc. Fantastic. What, what are the unique features of uh, Pivot Builder? Now, Pivot Builder hasn't gotten uh, mo too many uh, unique features, but one of the unique features that is uh, that we've loved is that all the licenses of Pivot Builder comes with white label option by default. This is a wonderful feature to have if you have WordPress web design agency. If you have a WordPress web, desi web design agency, for instance, or if you are just a developer, you want you want to have that sort of uh, convenience and flexibility. And what about DV Builder? What are the unique features here? DV Builder has has uh, actually produced the most unique features than any other page builder out there right now. So you have AB split testing. That's wonderful, right? So you using the back end builder, you can AB split test the module designs to test which one performs better when it comes to conversions. And the DV leads add split testing functionality to the DV builder. You can split test different designs or content variations of landing pages and send distributed traffic to those pages to know which one converts better and decide the winner. You also have the DV role editor. So this this uh, DV builder actually add-on has a very advanced role editor that lets you assign the right to ac to access certain modules to certain users, and uh, and this this is pretty cool. You also have lock elements. We love that as well. And you have copy module style. So the winner here, the clear winner, hands down, is DV Builder. What about pricing here, folks? Let's look at uh, the price. So I'm showing you right now here. The thing here is that um, both the Elementor and the Beaver Builder are premium page builders. And among them, Ele Elementor has the most generous free version. It comes with great features even in the free version. The Beaver Builder comes with a limited free version with only a couple of modules and also no export import functionality. And the DV, bu the DV Builder is um, actually a premium only plugin. All right. But for the price of $89 a year, you get unlimited domain support and access to the company's all themes plugins notable being DV Leads, Bloom, and others. So I'm showing you right now the Elementor pricing on the screen. You can see the price goes from free to $199 per, per year. And uh, you have all the elements that you have in the Pro. So we're showing you if you want to compare Elementor free versus Elementor Pro. And uh, when it comes to the Elementor Pro, you have uh, more features. And we're showing you that right now on the screen, all the features that you have in the Elementor Pro. So access to pro updates, 24 seven premium support, more than 300 pro, pro templates, more than 20 integrations, all the way to sticky elements. What about Beaver Builder pricing? We're showing you right now. So with Beaver Builder, you have uh, agency 399, you have pro 199 and you have standard $99. And uh, so this is pretty, and you, you, you as an agency, you actually have more access to uh, you have access to more features, namely even uh, namely the white labeling. Is, this is very important for agencies. And uh, one thing, and I want to show you now, actually the DV Builder pricing. So DV Builder, you have you can pay uh, eighty nine bucks a year, or if you want to have lifetime access to the tool, you basically go. Uh, you just have to pay uh, two forty nine. So if, one thing I want to say here is that if you are planning to use the page builder. On only one domain Elementor has the cheapest plan at $49 per month and comes with all the features so we're showing you right now just sort of a recap this conversation on pricing we're showing you right now on the screen the uh, a, a comparative table of Elementor Beaver, Beaver Builder and DV Builder by price ease of use modules page templates inline editing so you really want to refer to the to the, this table that right now we have on the screen right now to know the pricing models of all these three page builder plugins, especially depending upon your budget and the kind of projects you're working on, you might find very easily the best tool for you. So in our view, the winner here when it comes to pricing is Divi Builder. This tool has gotten the best value for money because it comes with access to all elegant themes, plugins, with unlimited site usage. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, folks, to uh, another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. This is actually the end of today's uh, conversation. And But before we actually um, leave you, let me quickly say that there are a few things that you need to know about Elementor versus the Beaver Builder versus DV. The, 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 the thing is that how many modules do this page builders offer? As of now, the date of this show, Elementor offers around 65 elements. Beaver Builder offers around 35, while DV provides around 50. And there are third-party add-ons for these builders, and as we have said in, in today's conversation, and all these page builders are mobile responsive, it is possible to A-B split test the different modules only on DV, only on DV. And uh, on the other hand, as a matter of fact, you can make, you can use Google Optimize for other page builders. And uh, among these three page builders, only Elementor has gotten a free version, very important to know. So which is the winner here? As you probably have uh, noticed in today's conversation, each of these plugins excels in its own fields, right? Uh, among these pages, though, among these page builders, in our view, according to our extensive research, Elementor is more versatile and powerful. Beaver Builder is kind of cool. It's actually excellent if you have a web design agency because it has the capability to white label the plugin. So when you combine this plugin with uh, add-ons like Ultimate Beaver, this adds a whole new range of possibilities to the page builder. That, that's fantastic. And DV Builder is great if you love to have great features like DV leads, hundreds of templates, and A-B split testing. The only downside with DV is that if you decide to deactivate the plugin, it leaves a huge pile of short codes. Right? So in this regards, Beaver Builder, in our view, is the cleanest because it leaves no residue after deactivating because it makes no use of uh, short quotes. So bottom line here is that you can't go wrong with any of this three. Definitely. So our pick today, our pick is Elementor. We have given, we have, uh, given uh, this a plugin 10 over 10. DV, we have assigned 9.5 over 10 to this plugin, and Beaver Builder, the same score, 9.5 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention today. I really appreciate it. And uh, I actually, just to kind of recap, we've actually compared and contrasted Elementor, Beaver Builder, and DV today through a series of criteria, namely user interface, modules, features, customization, pre-made templates, mobile responsiveness, unique features, and pricing. I will see you next time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.